At Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, the tech giant unveiled what it calls its most powerful computer ever, the new Mac Pro. 300, 400, 500. We can now have a thousand audio tracks. Apple team showed off how the high-end desktop computer can easily handle 1,000 tracks of audio and three streams of 8K resolution video at the same time. Never been seen before on any video editing software on any computer. Power comes at a steep price, $6,000 for the base model. And if you want to pair it with Apple's new 6K Retina display, the Pro Display XDR, that'll cost you $5,000 more. This is a very small segment of the market. It's not going to drive a lot of you know, revenue for Apple. It's a very, very small pro area, but it's important because it shows that their technology leadership will transfer into some of the other areas. The pricey but powerful products come as Apple faces some declining public interest in its annual Worldwide Developers Conference. Google searches on WWDC peaked about six to seven years ago. Those numbers have now dropped to levels comparable to before the iPhone even existed. One area Apple continues to take the lead on is privacy. The company introduced updates to its Apple Watch and OS 6, including apps that monitor your fitness trends and even fertility windows. But Apple stressed it does not record or save your audio. We believe privacy is a fundamental human right and we engineer it into everything we do. The mobile operating system update iOS 13 features an option to use Face ID to sign in to third-party apps without revealing personal information. It even allows users to log in with a hidden email address, whereby Apple creates a unique random address that forwards mail to your real address. We give each app a unique random address, and this means you can disable any one of them at any time when you're tired of hearing from that app doesn't reveal your email. It doesn't reveal your name. It's an encrypted relay network. And you also saw that in a lot of areas where it's all about protecting your data. Even in Maps, the data goes to yourself. Even in Siri, the data goes to yourself on the local device, not onto the network. Apple also revealed its long-standing iTunes has been broken up into three apps, podcasts, TV, and music. And its new updated mobile operating system now offers the popular dark mode, which provides a trendy look, though claims of reducing eye strain are still heavily debated. Mark New, CGTN, Mountain View, California.